guys, and welcome to our TST video. No, that's wrong. Hi guys, CJ here from TST Fitness and Wellbeing. Uh, I often get asked about various different lower back problems which can actually be helped yourself with a few very simple exercises just to get your abdominals supporting your back a little bit better. And uh, as we've been doing a lot more sitting around recently, I thought it'd be a good idea for me to actually send you this video. So what I'm going to go through is how to activate a muscle known as your transverse abdominus, TVA. So it's essentially your corset muscle. It draws your abdominals in towards your body. It connects you right from the either side of your spine all the way around the front. And uh, it helps to support your spine and your internal organs. And when you are moving around, when you're doing any form of exercise, you should have a small amount of contraction from this muscle to help support the back. Whereas a lot of us, it's actually relaxed completely or it's actually too tense. If it's too tense, then you could end up with digestive issues and any forms of constipation or uh, bowel discomfort could actually be related to this muscle being too tense. So I'm gonna give you a few different uh, methods of how to get it working and how to switch it off and generally just improve this connection from your brain to your abdominals to help with your general movement. So let's have a go. So one of the easiest positions for us to get the TVA working a little bit better is actually from a supine position, so laying on your back. Um, but in order to demonstrate it for the video, I'm going to do it side on seated for you because it gives you a really good visual of what we're trying to achieve. So apologies, I'm going to get my belly out. So. So TVA starts either side of your spine here and it wraps all the way around the front and meets in the middle 
and it's separated by a linear alba. So when you are pregnant, the abdominals actually separate for baby to be able to come forward. It's actually TVA rectus abdominis that allow you to do that. So TVA your corset, rectus abdominis your six pack, they separate and allow your body to come forward. What we're trying to do is draw everything back in together. So to start off, we're going to think of your TVA as being in three sections. So you've got the section right at the top here. This works with your diaphragm. It's attached onto the base of your ribs and the part of the fascia actually overlaps the ribs. So it's a really important one when it comes to your breath. So from this one, we're going to actually be contracting the muscle. We're going to draw the muscle in and down. So you should be able to contract this part of your TVA with your breath continuing. But it's actually slightly easier to do when you use your breath to create the movement. So if we exhale, you'll be able to see this part of the muscle working hopefully to pull downwards. So as you inhale, diaphragm moves into the abdomen. And as you start to exhale, the muscle then pulls down and in. And you should feel that sort of hollowing, the tension around your ribs that's creating that pull. So moving into your middle section. So this is the area around your belly button. So again, think of your corset. With this one, we're going to be drawing a straight line, um, uh, drawing a line from the belly button through the spine coming out of the back. So you're literally going to pull on that string. So for this one, it curves round and in. So you pull the belly button in as much as you possibly can. Now naturally with this one, whenever I'm teaching this to people, I get this sort of motion. So there should be no movement in any of the bones within your body. So it's only muscular and fascia that's allowed to move while you're doing this practice. So you draw in as much as you can. Now the lower one, the, third, the bottom part, of the third part of your TVA is probably the most important of all. It connects to your pelvic floor, it connects to your hips, and it obviously helps you with your bowel movements. So from this one, we need to get the, t the pelvic floor working in tandem with the TVA. So thinking of the pelvic floor, that hammock, that sling that sits underneath your groin in between your hips. You start by tensing through the back passage. Ladies, you have a middle one. And then everyone has a front one. And you draw in, feel that zipping, that scooping motion as it pulls up towards you. Then from here we pull the pelvic floor all the way in and up. And then you get the activity from TVA drawing in through the pelvis, pulling everything in and up. And you want to be able to feel that that connection is drawing from the whole um, hip and lower pelvis region. So, we should be able to connect one, two, three, all together, looking at you from the side, you should see this caving motion. So with everything relaxed, and then you draw in, without allowing any motion from any of the bones in your body, and you should still be able to breathe into that lower rib cage. while still holding that contraction. Now that obviously for me is a maximal contraction, so you don't want to be doing that all the time. That's in order to get everything working, switching it on, getting that connection through to the brain. If you're doing any form of heavy lifting, heavy squatting, any explosive type work, that's when you want to have that strong contraction to help protect through the back. I'm going to show you it now from a supine position. So, 
So with this one, again, it's exactly the same process, but now you're just changing the angle of your spine, which will change how your nerves respond to the muscles you're trying to work. Okay, so, spine in neutral, a little bit of an arch under the lower back, but the rib cage is pressed into the floor, Hips are even, feet are relaxed. So we have number one, under the ribs, draws in and down. Number two, around the belly button, draws back towards the spine. Number three, that connects to the pelvic floor, draws in and up. So I've got about 50% contraction now. I'm going to go to 100% of what I'm capable of. With no movement at all from the hips or the ribs and trying to create